Hello, in this video, we're gonna be talking about a product called SolidWorks PCB Connector for Ultium. This is an extension built in to Ultium Designer or Ultium Nexus that allows Ultium users and SolidWorks users to communicate or collaborate effortlessly without having to export and import files between the two applications. The only real requirement is that we use either Ultium Vault, Ultium Nexus Vault, or the SOLIDWORKS PCB services that is provided at no charge when you purchase the Ultium PCB connector to manage your projects. If you're creating a new project, you'd simply say new project, and then you'll see you have an option that's specifying that you wanna create the project in the Ultium vault. If you have an existing project, you can simply right click on the project and select convert to manage project and then that will become a managed project. One of the benefits of, uh, or additional benefits of using a managed project is these managed products, projects actually use Subversion's version control system. So not only can you communicate or collaborate with SolidWorks users, but you actually get version control as part of this application. But ultimately this is going to be working with the PCB layout. So you open up your PCB document now, if you're starting a board from scratch, I would recommend that you create the board, define the layers on your board as much as you can, and then place any what I like to call mechatronic components. So these are going to be like your USB ports, power ports, um, headers, anything that's really kind of their position is determined by the housing or enclosure that you're going to be placing the PCB in. Let the mechanical engineers figure out exactly where those components need to be and then push that back to you. But once you take your board uh, and get everything set up the way you want it to be set up, you're simply gonna go to the panels function. So we're gonna go to panels and select SolidWorks PCB connector. Once we do that, we're gonna hit push. We're gonna type a note. In this particular case, this will be my first push or my initial push. So I'm just gonna say initial. And then you're gonna click on this push button or post. Once you post this, the SOLIDWORKS user will be, then be able to access this information directly from in SOLIDWORKS. So once we take this and post it to the managed vault, we're gonna switch to SOLIDWORKS. Okay, now that I'm in SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to ensure that the SOLIDWORKS add-in is turned on. Now every user gets the SOLIDWORKS add-in, uh, no matter what version of SOLIDWORKS, it just doesn't help you unless if you have the PCB services or Altium vault to be able to reach or read into. So it would simply ensure that the SOLIDWORKS PCB is turned on. And then we're gonna talk about a couple options that we have available here inside of the SOLIDWORKS side. So if I go to the settings here, you'll see I have uh, the very first option is where do I want the component files to be? So ultimately inside of Altium Designer, when we create our footprints, we're gonna add a 3D body. Now that 3D body could be something that you draw it could be something that you insert as a free body. Um, that insert could be a step file, but now you also have the ability to use parasolids as well as actual SOLIDWORKS models. So anything that you download off of, let's say 3D Content Central can be used inside of Altium Designer or Altium Nexus. And then that information will actually transfer into the vault and transfer to the SOLIDWORKS user. We don't have to have two separate uh, or managements of where these files uh, are coming from. Plus we can place everything, all the, the component files in a local directory, on a network directory, or even in uh, SOLIDWORKS PDM. By doing this, uh, as I start building up boards inside of SOLIDWORKS, it'll actually become more, more proficient or the performance will increase because as we build components, it's gonna look in the directory and say, oh, that component already exists and simply use that part instead of having to recreate it every time you bring a board into SOLIDWORKS. We do have the option of fixing the components. Um, so when we're coming in from Ultium into SOLIDWORKS, uh, those components would be fixed. In other words, the SOLIDWORKS user wouldn't be able to move them. Um, and if they uh, do need to move them, they can right click and select float. One of the new things in the 2019 version of the connector is if I fix a component or lock a component in Ultium, when it comes in the SOLIDWORKS, whether I have this fix, fixed components on board or not, checked or not, that component will be fixed inside of SOLIDWORKS. If I fix a component inside of SOLIDWORKS, that component will be locked inside of Altium Designer. 
the other options here is to create the component holes. Ultimately, if it's a through-hole component, uh, we're, as it places the component into SolidWorks, it's going to have holes for the, the, the leads. Now, the interesting thing is, is if I move that component inside of SolidWorks, this next option will move those component holes or the, the holes for the leads with that component. So they'll actually kind of track together. And then the last one I want to talk about here is this model, modeled copper collaboration. Ultimately, what this is going to do is if I select off, it's going to create the silk screen and the copper, uh, the traces, pads as a decal inside of SOLIDWORKS. It will look exactly like it's supposed to look, uh, very similar to if I hit number three for a 3D view inside of Ultium Designer. Inside of SOLIDWORKS, so you'll get your copper, your, sil your silk screen, traces, all that information, but it will come in as a decal. Um, the decals are very, very light as far as uh, they don't require any rebuild time, so the performance will be very, very fast. We won't essentially notice any difference. If we select on, it will create the, the silkscreen as a decal, but the traces and the pads will come in as 3D bodies. And we can actually take a look at the idea of maybe using FEA or fluid dynamics uh, for thermal analysis or structural analysis inside of SOLIDWORKS as an option by selecting on here. In my particular case, I'm just gonna select off. Once I've got my option set, I'm gonna select pull board from uh, PCB services. It's going to bring up our PCB services dialog box. From here, I can see all the projects that I have in my project vault. I do have the ability to search. Uh, so if I was looking for something specific, um, I could type in that name. Uh, in this particular case, I have AD projects. Uh, so I start uh, prefix all my uh, Ultimate Designer projects with AD. From there, I can just simply select uh, the particular uh, project that I'm looking for and then select OK. And then SolidWorks is going to ask me where I want to save the assembly. In this particular case, I'll just simply place it on my desktop. We'll place it on a new folder called PCB. And then just click on Save. What that's going to do is it's going to create an assembly file uh, for containing all the components. And it's going to create a Borg file that represents the PCB board. And then in a separate directory, wh wherever I specified it to go, it's going to place all the uh, 3D body components uh, that are being pulled from the vault and place them into that folder. This is where it's really handy to have if you're going to have multiple users to place that on the network drive so it's all shared between the different users. Once that's done, you'll see here inside of SolidWorks I've got my board, I've got my components, I've got my traces and my pads. Now if I need to move something, if I need to change the board for example, I'm just simply going to use my traditional SolidWorks editing tools Maybe I want to uh, move this edge out a little bit, so I'll move that out here. Maybe even apply some things like tangency constraints uh, between uh, the corners. I can use my fully defined sketch functions. At this point, this is a fully editable SOLIDWORKS part. Once I make those changes, we'll simply go back into our PCB add-in uh, bar here on the right hand side and just like in Ultium Designer, I'm going to push that design out. I'm going to say modify board shape and then hit post. Now on this uh, Ultium side, just like on the SolidWorks side, I will receive a notification that says that this is changed and I can simply pull those changes, review those changes and then um, from that point, I can uh, add the rest of my components. But ultimately, what this allows me to do is two things. One, it allows me to collabor seamlessly collaborate with my SolidWorks user without having to export uh, a text file or a DWG or anything like that. You just simply push it over to the SolidWorks user. SolidWorks user can use that in their assemblies, or if they choose to, they can move components around they can uh, add or modify the board shape, add things to the board shape or modify the board shape, and then push those back to the Ultium user. We also do have the ability to start the project inside of SolidWorks, so if the board shape is really defined by the mechanical user, they can create the Ultium managed project inside of SolidWorks, define that board shape, maybe even place keep out areas, and then push that over to the Ultium user.
So if you're using Altium and you need to communicate with SolidWorks users, this is the proper solution for you, the SolidWorks PCB connector for Altium. If you are looking to bring your PCB designing house or replace your existing PCB tool, we have a link here that will show you the SolidWorks PCB application that will allow you to not only be able to communicate with SolidWorks but have a full, fully fledged PCB tool powered by Altium that will allow you to have the same communication level between the, your ECAD and your SolidWorks. We also have another video that if you're using a tool that is not SOLIDWORKS PCB or Altium Designer and you still want to be able to communicate with SOLIDWORKS, we have an application called CircuitWorks. Uh, and this uh, application will allow you to collaborate between the two applications as well. Thank you.